Good morning, everyone. Today, we are getting ready for our gingerbread house competition party. If you guys watched my previous vlog, this is basically like a part two, a continuation of yesterday because yesterday I just, I got a little bit overboard. I filmed way too much and that video has started getting a little bit too long. So I decided to break it up into two parts. So this is part two. Today we are doing our gingerbread house competition. I'm so excited. We've got a bunch of prep to do for that. So today we are gonna be prepping and kind of getting everything set up. I also am gonna try to make it to my friend Elizabeth's Rift With Me event. She is hosting an event at Thrift Smart, I believe, and she has curated a wonderful rack of great thrift picks. She's like one of my favorite people in Nashville. She's so, so sweet. One of the best thrifters I've ever met. So creative with styling, and she's worked really hard on this event, so I'm trying to Kind of quickly put some makeup on to head over there and just pop in, say hello. We might do a little bit of thrifting ourselves, but we got to be quick because I got to get back and prep for today's party. Okay, so this is the final makeup look. I love this like super nude lipstick color from Tarte, but I've just got my hair like up in this messy twist that I sleep in and then quickly I'll just like pull it down. And You would love a super nude look. <laughs> you actually roasted me. But this is like my hair after I pull it out of those twists. That way I don't have to apply heat the next day. And I'll just like do that every night for like three or four nights. Or most likely like three nights. Um, that's about as long as I go without washing my hair. But I'll add some like texture spray to it. But I'm gonna get dressed. Okay, so far for my outfit, I've got on these Abercrombie trousers. And then this little thrifted white turtleneck. And then I want to wear my thrifted blue coat that I got I think maybe last year that I got kind of end of season so I didn't get a chance to wear it but since I'm going to a thrifting event I want to like rep thrifted pieces so like I said this top is thrifted I'm trying to figure out what I want to wear for my shoes I could wear the sock boots from Everlane or I could wear like a sneaker or maybe my new boots from Free People would be cute. Guess I'll try them on and see what the vibe is. Free People boots might be a little too much with these pants. Yeah, don't think I like those with the pants. I've also got these from And Other Stories, which are like a kind of sleek high ankle black boot. Okay, let me show you guys the options here. Okay, so these are a little bit longer even though I got them in short. They hit kind of top of foot because they're supposed to like be kind of like those like 90s cheeky jean from Abercrombie. They're supposed to like elongate the leg. So I've got on two options and they look kind of similar but they're very different. So I've got on the leather boot from Anna Other Stories and then these are the knit boot from Everlane. I don't know which one I want to wear. I don't know if either of these are it either. I think like maybe I'll try on one more option with like a pointed toe. Another black boot. These ones are from Another Stories. They have a kind of like snake or croc emboss. I actually wore these last night with the red dress from Vici. And I think I like the pointed toe. I'm gonna try on a pair of sneakers as well and then decide between the pointed toe and a white sneaker. Okay, so totally different vibe when you throw on a sneaker. I would have to change my socks, obviously. But this is more of like a cool girl vibe with the sneaker, which I kind of think might be the move. I think I'm gonna do the sneaker, actually. Okay, so this is the outfit now with the sneaker. I really like the look of a kind of like dress pant and sneaker. I think it dresses it down a ton. So I'm gonna go upstairs, grab my coat and show you guys the final look. This is the thrifted coat. This is a coat from L.L. Bean. I love the way that it looks with my vintage Chanel. It is just such a beautiful blue coat. It definitely is like very long on me, but I think it looks really cool with like a trouser and the sneakers. And it's like a fun pop of color. So I'm so excited to get to wear this for the first time and to a thrifting event. So this is my outfit of the day. Really quick before I leave, we've got to do a fiddle leaf update. Today I 
rotated it around so that the other side could get light and that it would grow evenly. And I wanna show you guys the growth on this guy. He is finally coming out of his little bud. And then over here, these leaves are doing so good. They're so healthy. It makes me so happy looking at my fiddle leaf every day. I just got to Thrift Smart. I'm about to go into Elizabeth's little Thrift With Me event and maybe shop her curated rack. I have not been to this store in quite some time. I forgot how much I love this specific store in Nashville. Isn't she so cute? Oh, I'm so excited. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Oh my gosh, hi. hi. I'm hi. vlogging today. Okay. <laughs> oh my to gosh, thank you for coming. You. Okay, Inception. so this is Elizabeth. Oh my gosh, <laughs> filming me, filming you. Yes. This is Elizabeth's curated selection here that we're gonna look through. I already know you picked out the best stuff ever. Also, so oh, the sparkles. Holiday. I am obsessed. I was like, I gotta, I gotta do something fun no, today. No, you look beautiful. Thank you. India, you look amazing. Oh my god, thank you. Are you wearing some thrifted pieces? Um, this is thrifted. Yes, of course. So pretty. This is Alex Mel. Oh, you already thrifted. have so many. I know. Pieces. I know the sweaters. So Elizabeth has been like pulling stuff all week for her curated rack. She's literally one of the sweetest people on earth. I adore her. I'll link her Instagram down below. She does such amazing reels and videos and like fashion videos. And she's, like I said, one of the sweetest people ever. We need to know your Instagram handle because you look fantastic. It's Shop Studio Sway. So okay. I resell vintage and no contemporary way. clothing. Is yeah. this one of your pieces or did this you find This is vintage, it? yeah. Oh my gosh, in the shoes. Wow. Okay. It's like modern day Dorothy. No, I love it so good. Okay, of course I found a little neutral sweater, but isn't this so adorable with the stripes? I actually love that. And then I grabbed a blazer that felt kind of holiday. Okay, this is so cute. Honestly, if I was a bride, 100%. Oh, that's a good thing. A little bride, bridal clutch, so cute. This one is also so adorable, this gold one. Oh, this one too. She picked such good bags. I feel like my friend would love this. I should get this for her for Christmas. <gasps> she would die, honestly. Okay, so while I'm here, I wanna just like pop in and see the rest of the stores, make sure there's nothing else that I don't wanna grab while I'm here, but I feel really good about the things that I got. You know we gotta look at handbags, always. We're doing like a quick browse. I told Jay was I would get back to help out with the party. Oh my gosh, I love these little candlestick holders. Those are actually so pretty. more time but I'm gonna look through the home decor now really quick see if there's anything back there oh my gosh look at this bed how insane is that crazy I love all these little like holiday mugs it's so cute for like hot chocolate or something and these like vintage glasses are so cute Ugh. so adorable I love this green cup, but I wonder if it's weird to get like a single cup unless it was like a set or at least you have like a couple of them. I really, really wish I had like way more time to look through everything because there's so much here, like so much good glassware and homeware and I really want to like super detailed look through everything but I honestly don't have that much time. I need to come back here on a day where I just have hours to kill because this place is so good. I forgot how amazing like all the stuff is here. They also have like tons and tons of lamps, which some of these are, you know, really dated, but I feel like if you really took the time to search, you could find something super, super cool here. I really like this planter. 
It's a really cool shape. It's like $5. Oh my gosh. I feel like I legit have to buy this. This is for sourdough starter. And y'all know I've been making sourdough. I feel like I have to buy this. Okay, but I do legit need like a bigger sourdough jar. And this is actually really perfect because the lid doesn't seal on it. It just places on it. So maybe I will get this. I don't know if I like the font. I don't know, but it does say sourdough. It's like really cute. I can't decide if I want to do like a glass container to see like how far it grows. Because you want to be able to see the sourdough starter and see how much it grows to know how active it is before you like bake your bread. So I think I need to go glass, but I just thought this was like so stinking adorable. Adorable. And I just got here. And she looks so also, adorable. This, this, yeah, yeah, this is yeah. Yeah. It's from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx. She has a tote so bag. Good. I love. Oh yeah, I love it's it. Such a statement. It's so I know. cute. Little colors. Wow. The chunky so loafer. This is so cute. All right, I just got back home. I thought I'd show you what I got. You guys kind of already know, but I got the beaded clutch for my friends. Christmas present. And then I got the cream sweater, of course. So cute though, with the little stripes. It's definitely very me. And then the last thing that I got is this jar for my sourdough starter, which I need to wash and then move my starter into that. Cause the jar that I have for my starter right now is kind of small. And if I want to do like any larger recipes, I'll need more starter and I'll need to like have more room to grow. So I got this really pretty jar. And this one, like I said, the lid on it, I don't think has a suction. So it won't like seal in the air because you don't want the lids of your sourdough to be like airtight. You want it to be able to breathe a little bit. So I think this is gonna be perfect for that. All right, we took a little snack break and we are officially in party prep mode. We're gonna be setting up two more tables in here, rolling up this rug so that it doesn't get icing and stuff on it. I've gotta make the icing and then we've gotta like set out all this stuff into a nice display for people to pick out what they wanna build their house out of. be making all of the white icing for everybody and we're gonna bag it up we're also gonna have bowls and then we also are gonna like i think have food coloring for them to make the colors but i'm gonna make just a ton of white icing and use my lovely stand mixer <laughs> Hijacking the vlog real quick because we're about to put Riley's Christmas sweater on and I've got one that matches her. We're gonna look very pretty tonight. Just one full. You're so good. She's just like absolutely letting me do this. She loves it. Okay, yay! You look so pretty, Riley. We 
would you believe it if I told you that they did not get these to match intentionally? Jason got his like in college. This is my dad's. From oh, forever. this is his yeah, dad's. And we got that for Riley, like, I guess when we got her like four years ago. But those, that was his dad's sweater. Riley, get next to dad. Go next to dad. Huh? Sit. True. Her head's a little too big for this. She's a little too big for this, but. I said she has to, it kind of only works when she's sitting. Okay. Right, sit. Sit. You sit. Good girl. Good sit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fit. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You gotta get it. No, it doesn't fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit. But just imagine, little antlers. Wait, you could have put her reindeer costume on. No, this is what's going down. Okay. I'm matching with my On girl. Christmas, we'll wear the reindeer costume. We love you, girly girl. Next. Good job. I quickly opened up my home gift because I wanted to make sure it was the right color. I got her the Our Place pan. She is gonna freak. Just getting a selfie with Riley and your wine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I am about to go put my Christmas sweater on and then fill the bags with icing. We have about an hour before people come but I want to show you guys the spread. Everybody else is bringing like drinks and snacks and stuff. So we're gonna have more food. We just supplied like all of the gingerbread house supplies and some hot chocolates and some small snacks, but there should be like more food because we're gonna have like 30 people. All right, so over here we have the hot chocolate station. And then I picked up these plates from Target. We've got some festive cups, some candy cane for the hot chocolate, dark chocolate and regular. And then I'm gonna put marshmallows in this bowl, but I don't want them to get stale, so I'm waiting to do that. And then we're gonna have ice water here for people. And we've got all the graham crackers, all of the house building supplies. This thing is about to be nutso. We went all out. We literally got everything that Publix had to offer. Riley is very excited. She doesn't even know what's happening yet. You don't even know what's going on yet, Ry. And then over here, I created a little luxury spread. We got some Thin Mint Girl Scout chocolate covered almonds, literally branded Thin Mints. They taste just like the Thin Mints. They're so good. Pocky sticks. We've got Lindor truffles that Lindor sent me. They sent me a huge box of chocolates. So we've got little bears from Lindor and then a brand sent me all these gummies. So I just put those out. And then we've got some macarons in the fridge that we're gonna put out in display. And then like I said, everyone else is bringing food. So this is like the food station. And then we have this thing to cover our gas burner that like came with the house. So we thought we would just put it on. It's got little fuzzies from my wrapping. And then over here, we've got all of the little stations set up for everybody's houses. About to get lit. We're gonna bump the surround sound in the ceiling speakers, in the wall speakers. And it's gonna be crazy, right? It's gonna be so crazy. Are you ready to get crazy? I love you, baby bear. All right, we are officially filling the icing bags that people are gonna use to glue their houses together and to decorate. So I made this icing like a couple hours ago, put the lid on it though. And so now we are filling up baggies and they're just gonna like cut the corners on the baggies to use them as like piping bags. We love hosting parties with you in our house. We've got it all set up now. All of it. We've got the slider because I'm sweating. Look at our macarons we got from Costco. They're so good. JWAS is heating up. Spin dip. We've got Mariah blasting in the surround sound. And we're so excited. Wait, that's Justin Bieber? Young Justin Bieber sounds like Mariah, apparently. We've got our lights all lit up. Our neighbor was so sweet and put lights on our tree. He was like, I hope you don't mind. We just, we had extra lights and we wanted to decorate your tree. What do you mean do I mind? That's like the sweetest thing ever. I want a redeeming moment. This, that was Mariah. This is a Mariah and JB collab. It was Mariah in the beginning, now it's JB. I wasn't crazy, I knew it was Mariah's voice. Okay, little outfit of the day. I don't think we've ever done one of these in the hallway mirror. Got on my free people boots, 
some Aritzia faux leather pants and my thrifted Christmas sweater headband from Madewell. And we're feeling festive. I also put the hoops in, so. Yay, I'm so excited. Hi. It's our favorite people. Yay. Yay. Have Merry Candy Cane. Yay. Is this your gift? Oh, I'm making Mary Helen open this in the bedroom in case somebody comes. <laughs> I love your shirt. It's, it's um, Honor Garrett. Oh, it looks okay. so good. Funny story about this is I almost wore this when I got proposed to you. Oh my god. <laughs> Could you imagine if your engagement photos were in she that? She let me borrow it for the Christmas party we were supposed to go to that night for Cole's work. And it was tacky Christmas decorating party. And Cole was like, You shouldn't wear this. I don't think you should shirt. wear this for my work thing. But it was because I was going to get proposed to you, anyways. Fun fact I shot Mary Helen's engagement. And good thing I didn't wear this for yeah, you. Yeah, good thing you didn't I would have been like, Mary Helen, change. <laughs> Been like, um, <laughs> um, don't wear that. Change shirt. What the heck is this? I can't even. Sorry, too much. I don't even know what it is. cook so much in my new kitchen you are you should not have you did not <laughs> you did not do this so, all right everybody just got here we've never fit this many people in our house before and we're about to start the competition Little Frank Lloyd Wright action, little 
Everybody obviously is familiar with the exploits of Santa and Mrs. Claus and the reindeer uh, during Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but we really wanted to highlight what they get up to the rest of the year at the North Pole. It's a little bit wilder than you might expect, but we think it's going to be a very enlightening expose into the goings-on of the North Pole. <laughs> For your consideration. House number two. Uh, we want this to be a cultural exchange of sorts. Uh, not all of us are from cold places. I'm from Florida, so a lot of Christmases we're getting in the pool, we get the slide going. As you can see, we got our grape juice little pool with a slide from our balcony, and the name of it is... Last Night in Snow Ho. Oh. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a house. Um, there's a door and there's some windows. Yeah. And it's one that you could live in. Yes. If you were a really small person. Yes. Yes! <laughs> yes. Nice. Okay. Thank you. So, I wanted to capture the feeling of when you arrive at Grandma and Grandpa's Christmas morning. Mm -hmm. I went with a 1950s, kind of mid-century modern, Frank, yeah. Frank Lloyd Wright style. Uh, we already have the snowman made outside. Very, very large tree, which is a little excessive, but size wasn't uh, possible there. Um, yeah, so classic idea of arriving at grandparents' house. Wow. Yeah. Nice. All right, number six. We welcome you to this beautiful two-bed, one-bath. Wow. Uh, <laughs> located on Belmont Boulevard. We're going for about 2.4 asking. Also doing uh, cash deals above That's million, market by the price way. only. Um, <clears throat> it's complete with uh, a chimney. Wow. Uh, pretend that it's smoking. Pretend that it's smoking. I hope this isn't flammable. And it's not. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. wow. You're too bad, one bad. Okay, hear me out. out. Beans. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh. We had to get some more real estate. Uh, an ode to the sweetest superhero, your friendly neighborhood, Spider-Man in gingerbread form. We hope that you enjoy the looks of the city, complete with our skyscraper and hospital with a helipad on top. Oh, the helipad! All right. This is your favorite classic Christmas tree garden. Greenhouse. 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 Yeah. yeah. Welcome to a Christmas experience that will warm your heart as much as spiked eggnog. I present to you Charlie Brown, A Christmas Story, That's complete with Snoopy sleeping on top of his dog house. Charlie Brown really with his silly little tree. He has a present with him. Enjoy. Yeah. Wow. House from up. showing them around Nashville and you just ate dinner and then all of a sudden it gets dark. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it gets dark. It gets dark and then it gets dark. Boom. One <laughs> snowman, I mean, 
guess it's just a star. But. <laughs> this is the most cute thing I've ever seen. All right, Jaywaz is tallying up the votes here. As you guys know, we did not compete. So we are seeing who won. Hi, everybody. Oh, oh my God. Oh. We've got a winner. Yeah. Yeah. We have a winner. The second annual Wasek Jennifer House Building competition. <laughs> and the winner of $300. Oh! It is 300. Oh, and a trophy. And this trophy. House number five. Yeah. Thank you all. This yes. is great. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. 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 I was, I was, I was, I don't know over. I only knew a few people showing up here, and I met a handful of people as well. I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. And it's like it never happened. Aside from all of the extra candy that we have left over. But it is now midnight. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us and joining us for the gingerbread competition. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for some more videos. I'd love to have you back on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon. Bye y'all.